Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the iris stitch, which is the stitch that you see in front of you here. The iris stitch is uh, similar to V stitches and even if you've been following my stitch tutorial videos, we've uh, done a sprig and a blossom stitch. So it's similar, has a similar construction to those stitches. What makes it unique is these uh, double, double crochet V stitches that are worked and they're all lined up one on top of one another. So it's a very pretty fabric to work, uh, pattern to work, uh, nice and lightweight, suitable for a variety of projects. So once you're ready, grab a hook and some yarn and let's crochet the Irish stitch together. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, uh, Rich Texas Crochet on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, such as the one that you're going to see here today for the iris stitch. So for our stitch, we are going to need to start with a foundation chain of four stitches plus three. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and today for our swatch, I will be chaining a total of 19 chains. It's nine. Fifteen. 18 and 19. So any multiple of four stitches plus three for our foundation chain. Next for row one, we are going to start by placing two double crochet, a chain one, and two more double crochet in the fifth chain from our hook. So counting in from your hook, there's one, two, three, four, five. In that fifth chain, you're going to place two double crochet stitches. chain one and two more double crochet stitches all in the same chain. Next you're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the next chain you're going to place another two double crochet stitches, chain one, two, double crochet stitches. So these are our double double crochet uh, V stitches. So two double crochet stitches, chain one, followed by two double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So skip the next three chains and then work in the next chain, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Skip the next three, work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of your chain. When you come to your final two chains, you're going to skip the next chain and then work one double crochet stitch in that last chain. And that will bring you to the end of your row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now working in those chain one spaces, so the chain one spaces of your double crochet V stitches, you are going to work uh, that same pattern, that two double crochet chain one and two more double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across working in each 
of those chain one spaces. So in between each one, you're going to skip the four double crochet in that next chain one space, work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across. This is my final chain one space. When you come to that starting chain three, you are simply going to place one double crochet stitch in the top of that turning chain. And that brings you to the end of row two. Your next row and every row following is simply going to be a repeat of that row two. So chain three, turn your work, and now working in each chain one space all the way across, place two double crochet stitches, chain one, followed by two double crochet stitches. Skip all the double crochets there in between, and in the next chain one space, repeat two double crochet stitches, chain one, two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain, uh, turning chain, that chain three at the beginning, and you'll place one double crochet in the top of that stitch. And that's all there is to working this beautiful iris stitch. Thank you once again so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.